तो हिंदुस्तानी म्यूजिक इज अबाउट प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ रागास इट इज कॉल्ड राग संगीत बट वी सो दैट रागास आर नॉट ओनली यूज इन क्लासिकल म्यूजिक बट ऑल्सो इन अदर जॉनर सच एज फोक फिल्म म्यूजिक भजन्स और रिलीजियस म्यूजिक एंड मेनी अदर जॉनरस इन फैक्ट फोक म्यूजिक इज ऑफन द सोर्स ऑफ रागास दैट आर यूज दैट आर यू नो दैन बीन टेकन इन टू द क्लासिकल ट्रेडिशंस सो दैन वाई इज इट दैट हिंदुस्तानी म्यूजिक इज कॉल्ड राग संगीत सिंस रागास आर यूज इन अदर जॉनरस एज वेल सो दिस वेरी गुड रीजन जस्ट दैट इन द अदर जॉनरस रागा रागास आर टूल्स um whereas in hindustani music it's all about ragas the presentation of a hindustani concert is a presentation of a raga using compositions whereas a a film song might use a raga but its its intent is different the focus is not the raga the focus is the the song itself the lyrics the context in which it is used in the film and so on the the a music director uh, who sets a film song in a particular raga is not even uh, obliged to retain the raga throughout the song and in fact very often he doesn't um for example there is a very um beautiful composition beautiful song film song in the um in the hindi film called mera saaya which was uh, in just uh, released sometime in the mid uh, 20th century it's a hindi film um and in this there is a song tu jahan jahan chalega mera saaya the mera saaya saath hoga uh, the link uh, to the song is given in the description box and do listen to it um the song goes like this i am not going to sing exactly the way it's been sung in the film but ha tu jaha jahan chalega mera saaya saath ho ga mera saaya mera saaya this is the uh, sthai or the first part of the film song and this uh is closely modeled on uh bandish a uh, composition in of khayal in the rag nand in fact that first part of the song is classic nand the khayal composition goes like this mm mm आय जगून आए शाम आय जगून आए शाम बहुत दिन it's almost as if uh, the music director has, is quoting the bandish nand is a relatively new raga and uh, it's quite popular among uh, khayal and khayal musicians and instrumentalists it's not that much performed in the dhrupad uh, tradition so nand is actually a fairly complex raga in the sense it has Uh, complex patterns it's not linear um the phrases are also quite complex i'll just demonstrate it to you ga ma ga pa ga ma ra pa re sa the pa re there's a ga there pa dau pa gre sa dau pa re that is wrong 
dalam perdesa Gama gapa, gama pada ni pa pada mapa gama gama ni gama ni pa gama dal pa desa na. Gama pai sare ni pa pada ni pai sare ni sadha ni pada ma paga gama pai sa pa gama da pa re sa so this philip song is perhaps one of the most Uh, celebrated uses of a classical raga in a film song because precisely because nand is not an easy raga to handle and uh, uh, but you know that is what it is nand is being used in the film song in fact in the later part of the song nand is abandoned nand is not maintained the rest of the song is not in nand and that is perfectly okay uh, a film song is not obliged to remain faithful to any one raga that is not the uh, point or that's not the intent of a film song that is the intent of khayal or thrupad or instrumental music hindustani music um in this film song nand has been repurposed in fact in fact the very famous composition that is sang has been quoted in a way and it's it's, it's been used in a very creative way by the uh, musician in the uh, film the music director so the raga is a tool and uh, it serves a particular purpose whereas if you have a nand performance in khayal nand is itself the whole point the whole point of the presentation is to present it uh, with fidelity to its grammar with fidelity to its structure and um, in a way that evokes the the raga's presence to evoke a mood some say you can say you know that uh, ragas you present it in such a way that you evoke a mood and this is very commonly said of ragas that they evoke moods and we will uh, consider this uh, idea later now what is raga what does its presentation involve what does it mean to present a raga in the khayal or the dhrupad or the instrumental idiom hmm? now we will consider these questions throughout this course let us listen to a bit of nand in the khayal idiom da de
Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da